Good morning. It's bright and early today. It is currently, oh, it's like, it's nine in the morning. I woke up at seven and I, yeah, I woke up like at seven because I had a dentist appointment today. I was on Invisalign because I had braces in the past, but I didn't wear my retainers and then, you know, jaw pain and everything. So I went back on Invisalign. I started rambling about my teeth. Sorry about that. But today's video is pretty exciting. I can't go too much into detail, but I am working on, I'm working with someone on a very special project. I'm just so excited, so I'm gonna take you guys along the day with me. Uh, I'm gonna go back home and change because I'm currently like in a sweatshirt and trousers and it is literally so hot today. So I need to go change. Yeah, let's just get on the road and have an amazing day. I'm back home and let's choose an outfit together because I don't know how much content I'm gonna get today. So we need to fill up that void, you know? Also, I got a new bed, as you can see back there. It's bigger than the one I had before because I, for the longest time since I was born, was sleeping on a twin bed. And I think that's another reason why I have scoliosis. <laughs> so thankfully now I can stretch on my bed. Anyway, I wanna wear this pleated skirt with this black blouse that I recently got from Ofritzia and it's kind of wrinkled. Oops, it is really wrinkled. I don't know. I don't have time to iron it though. And probably just a black tank top. Or should I wear a white blouse? I'll do black. Let me change and I'll show you guys the final look. Okay, the fit is really cute. It's just that this is super wrinkled, so. I have like 10 more minutes to change and come up with something different. A dilemma I always have. I will be right back. I need a brainstorm real quick. Okay, well as I'm brainstorming on what to wear, I'm just preparing some of my books that I need to take for this project. And I believe this is the book I need. I'm gonna take this book. Huh? Oh, I'm just putting some of my books together. So we finally made it out. I ended up just wearing the same skirt, a black shirt, and then a blazer because the other shirt that I was gonna wear was way too wrinkled. But we made it to the cafe and we're just waiting for our friend. And then we're gonna go in and just talk about this exciting project that we're working on. Uh, also, I don't know if I'm gonna get coffee because my tummy has been a little sensitive, even though I've been dying to drink coffee, but I don't know if they have matcha. Have you been here before? Mm -hmm. I came here before, I worked twice. Oh, uh, do you have matcha here? Yeah, yeah is it's it good? good. Okay, then maybe. Cause I might be transitioning into a matcha girly. All right guys, so I, me and Becca both ordered the chicken and pesto and Mel ordered the burrito. Then nobody like it. Okay, are we gonna do a yeah. cheers? Cheers! It has chicken, avocado, pesto, and sun dried tomatoes. Mmm! It's good, huh? I'm okay. Has hikama? Mmm! Right? The dressing is good. The dressing? The sesame dressing. Yeah, have you had the, the salad from Costco? So <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Yeah. Is this mango? So yeah. one in the corner. That little piece of mango is good. <laughs> okay, well we're just gonna eat now. We're gonna have to do like bell bottom first. No, or not bell bottom the flare, yeah, because help you look taller. So we finally left.
at the cafe and we have some idea of what we're looking for and what we're planning on doing so I believe we're going to a thrift store right now and oh my god so I did end up getting a matcha well Mel bought it for me thanks Mel it's good but yes I do believe it is an acquired taste but hopefully this doesn't mess up my stomach so um trial run to see if matcha messes up my stomach and if it doesn't then I'm gonna have to suck it up and just drink matcha just like feel something you know but yeah that's a little update and I'm just so excited today but I might come back out tomorrow to continue shopping and trying to find fits <laughs> All right, so we finished thrifting and we got a pretty cool outfit yes, and we're so excited but now sadly we have to say goodbye <laughs> but once I get home I'm gonna have to wash the clothes so yeah bye for now I'll see you so guys I look like a mess but I showered and I washed my face and I feel super clean and I feel great um, I am a bit tired but <sighs> I'm gonna eat the remaining of my kimbab and I just wanted to talk because I finally met up with our friend Becca and she's coming out with music I'm basically in charge of the styling on her part and also like the extras and just everyone involved in it the whole time we were talking I felt so like confident in a way and like motivated and i was like oh my god like yeah we could do this 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 um in some parts i did want to like shut down on myself and be like girl like you don't know what you're talking about like who are you to be giving these ideas and i just hate that because i tend to talk myself down and it just sucks it's that imposter syndrome and i try to avoid it as much as i can but yeah like i don't know if anyone else could relate like especially being Hispanic and being like first gen, it's so like imprinted in our minds that we have to like continue careers that are like more stable. So like being like wanting to be in the fashion industry and growing up just wanting to experiment with clothing was kind of like, oh like it's cute, you know? But it was never seen as like, oh like like Jessica could really make this into a career. So like it's just really hard, you know. There's always that self doubt and just that guilt of being a first gen, but we all have to strive for better things, and better things are out there if you look for it, you know. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I just wanted to leave with that thought, and here's to a good day tomorrow.